Admission is also charged at our hockey games as well. Um, this is not sports. I have a question for Raphael High. Um, the library head facilitator, the increases for all the facilit facilitators was $106, but in the library one it said $1,000. So I'm just curious about the discrepancy. Uh, I'd have to take a look, but I believe that was for more hours for her uh, to help get the library organized. Um, at the time, we had um, one less library aid. Uh, we did finally hire somebody. Um, and when Ms. Fitzgerald and I sat down uh, to do the budget, she said the number of hours, I believe there were some hours that were there that um, the library media person worked that were into overtime to get the library ready for the beginning of the school year, close it down at the end of the year, so on and so forth, constituted more hours. Um, so that's where we put that in there. But you said you've hired someone else to Correct. As, as, since the budget. Since so I put so this stuff can in that budget. be reduced? Yes. It's 51116, I believe, in Rockwell High. the extra hours that were requested because that's a negotiated item. I can't negotiate with one teacher to work extra time. So that should be 106. That, 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 that would be my thinking. I'll, I'll ask um, Mr. Abaya to double check that for us. I believe her position was in the prior year you were considered a, not a department head. Something was incorrect with last year's budget. Oh, I see that the amount is different. Yes, we we fixed it this time around so that you are considered a department head, and that's why the difference. Mrs. Fisher, if you look at the first, yeah, the number is incorrect. So the 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 increase is correct in the budget. Okay, thank you. Mrs. Sarr. I know this is this argument is as probably older than me, but I need to ask the question anyway to Mr. Picaro, please. Do you know how many dollars go to the town's general fund that that are generated by education programs that the state reimburses? <clears throat> For you, Mr. Chairman, uh, in my one of my recent uh, business and finance reports, I did indicate what our tuition revenues are and uh, those dollars, the exact dollars that do go to the town. But uh, we're looking at somewhere in the ballpark of uh, around a half a million dollars in revenue per year to the town. I know the argument is up. I understand that. And then there's little we can do about it, but I don't think that means that it shouldn't be said that um, that half a million dollars goes to the town general fund, the board doesn't see it, yet we go to the town council and defend our budget time and time again, that it would be nice, I don't know legally how it works, if those dollars went back to the board to support the programs that, that are generating the funds to the town anyway. Um, I think we are hit twice, quite honestly. Dollars go to the town and then we have to defend our budget and the council cuts it anyway. <coughs> I have a question about another question about the capital non-recurring fund. This chart shows that over well, since the 2009-10 fiscal year, we've deposited $497,710 to the capital non-recurring, and the balance is $150,000. Is 
I don't remember us spending $350,000 out of the capital non recurring fund in recent years. Actually, we have. We have? Like uh, VCMS's chimney, for example, is oh, coming out of that fund. Yeah, we don't, we have not had a capital budget, um, geez, for many years. And this is where we do our capital projects. We used to actually request a separate capital budget of the town when we submitted our budget. Right. And we have not done that. This is where we've been getting our funds for doing our capital projects. Okay. Mr. Percival. Uh, I think last year we requested it and the mayor cut it out of our budget. It's not that we're not asking for capital dollars, we're just not receiving them from the town. Correct. We have not received capital dollars. This is where we've been getting them from. Mr. Person. Um, well, that's one of the things that uh, Dr. Conway showed us tonight was uh, the surpluses over the past five years. Which page are you uh, Page five, right in the middle. You know, the past two years have been right around 50000 Back in 910, it was $1,194,000. Uh, I just want to point out, as you can see, only 394 went to our CNR. Capital and I recurring because we returned eight hundred thousand dollars to the town. Um, I think that year was when I just came on board to the board, and we were in a budget freeze. I think in September or October. Um, I don't know how that was missed, and, but I just want to point out that in this chart, there's not that eight hundred thousand dollars did go back to the general fund. Thank you. Yes, sir. Mr. Carro, <clears throat> if we reduce the budget by three hundred forty-seven thousand dollars, <throat> can I, you're the math guy? Can you tell me where our increase would then be? Mm -hmm. Sure. Some, sometime. Yes. Could you repeat that question or that comment or that request? I, I did. I there. know right now that we're at an eight point five percent increase. I'm wondering if the budget was reduced by three hundred forty-seven thousand dollars what that increase would now be, would then be. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I didn't hear it. Okay. Thank you. at the, the increase in the numbers, uh, and I think the idea of all that kindergarten was good in theory, but in practice, the money's not going to be there. So we should look at moving away from that and get back to a more realistic budget proposal. Ms. Arnold. And continue not to provide for the kids in the community. Exactly, yes. Right. Budget bottom line uh, as of today is $52,315,885. That represents a $4,134,888 increase over this year's budget or an 8.58% total increase. Could, could you repeat that, Slayer, one more time? Yes. Sorry. 
52,315,885. And that is a 8.58% increase. And the dollar figure for that is 4,134,888. Thank you. So 1% is 52, not 48. That's 1% of the previous budget. It's the increase over the previous budget. So our previous budget was 48,000, So 1% would be $481,809. The increase over the previous budget. Miss Bush. Um, when we when we looked at the class size in Center Road. Lake Street School and uh, Skinner Road School to subtract one teacher for each one of those classes. Have we removed that from the budget yet? And would that still be a $53,000 average on that? Or what would the cost be to reduce those three teachers um, from the budget with the class sizes? Um, I don't know what the mitigating uh, number is for unemployment if we were going to reduce ranks uh, in that way. If we were going to add all day K and reduce the classes, then there would be no unemployment. And so that's what I was thinking the board was looking to do. So I didn't right. include un additional unemployment there. Um, we'd still be down three FTEs. Yes, and one FTE is about 50, we usually, we budget at 53,000 at MA3, and, and most of our teachers are coming in about MA1, so it might be a little lower, but we do budget at that um, amount, and about $16,000 for family health insurance and dental together. Okay, so it would cost us 53 plus 16. We, we save that right, by 69. subtracting those. Right. And Dr. Common just clarified, there are a couple uh, open slots listed in this uh, budget as a result of retirements. But there are. There are. We have 10. And, and would there be um, three in the elementary grades in those openings, do you recall? I, I would imagine there are. So it's, if, if that were the case, it is possible we wouldn't have a uh, unemployment situation? Correct. Correct. Um, those people have already been budgeted at um, new at replacing them at fifty-three thousand uh, dollars for the the new person and sixteen thousand. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Um, I'd like to make a motion that we reduce um, three staff members at a cost of fifty-three thousand dollars each, um, as well as the health and dental, which comes to sixty-nine thousand dollars per person. Two hundred seven thousand dollar reduction, accounting for a three FTE at the elementary, based on the uh, adjusted class size. I have a motion. Do I have a second on the motion, Ms. Bush? Second. I have a motion and a second uh, to reduce the uh, FTE count by three FTE for savings of two hundred and seven thousand dollars or reduction two hundred seven thousand dollars discussion on the motion 